Hey everyone, Jaystopher with a complete tutorial on the LEGO Travel Trailer, which features two slide outs, a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom. As a fair warning, this video is approximately 1 hour 42 minutes long. Let's get started. Let's begin the deck of the travel trailer with an 8x8 plate. Face it upside down. Next, a 6x10 plate. Place it right next to the 8x8 plate. Take a 8x16 plate. Place it right next to the previous plates. Take two 2x4 two plates, place them on the seams of the previous plates, like so. These are going to lock the assembly together. Take a 6x8 assembly, looks like an enlarged trailer hitch, and a 2x6 plate. Place the 2x6 plate in this lip. Place the assembly on the far right, right in the center. Take three 1x8 plates. Place one in the far left. Take another 1x8 plate. Place it perpendicular to the other 1x8 plate, followed by another 1x8 plate on the bottom. Now set two 1x10 plates right across the 1x8 plate assembly, followed by two 1x3 plates. Take two 1x6 plates and two 1x2 plates. Place the 1x2 plate on top of the 1x6 plate. Set the assembly down on the top. Make another assembly with a 1x6 and 1x2 plate. Place it on this end. Flip the assembly over. Now take a 2x4 small hitch assembly, place it on this lip to lock the assembly together. Take a 2x2 two two round plate, set it on top. Let's place down the floor coverings for the bathroom. Start with a 2x6 plate, place it on the left hand side where there is a one stud reveal on the back. Set down a 1x6 plate right next to the 2x6 plate. Next, take two 1x2 jumper plates, place them on top, followed by a 1x2 plate on top of the jumper plates. Next, set down a 1x2 flat tile right next to the jumper plates. Place a 1x1 plate on the right. Now set four 1x2 flat tiles underneath the previous row. Next, take another 1x2 flat tile, place it on the bottom row, set down a 1x2 jumper plate, another 1x2 flat tile. Now take a 2x2 jumper plate, 
set it right on top of the 1x2 jumper plate where the 2x2 jumper plate is in the center. Let's construct the bathtub in this area. Start with a 1x4 flat tile. Place it right in the center. Set a 1x2 wall element right next to the 1x4 flat tile. Now take two 1x2x2 corner wall elements, place them on both sides of the 1x2 wall element. Now take a 1x4 wall element, place it on the right hand side. To finish up these two areas, take two 1x1 corner wall elements. Let's begin the floor coverings for the living area. Start with a 2x6 plate. Place it on this side where there is a 1x2 opening. Next, set down a 2x8 plate right next to the 2x6 plate. Be careful not to press down on these plates. There is no support underneath. We don't want the plates to crack. Next, take a 1x2 flat tile. Set it on this corner of the 2x8 plate. Now let's set down some hardwood floors. Let's start with a 1x4 flat tile. Place it right next to the 2x8 plate, followed by a 1x1 flat tile. Next, take a 1x6 flat tile, place it on the second row. Let's set down a 1x4 flat tile right above the 2x6 plate. Another 1x4 flat tile. A 1x8. Another 1x4. That completes the third row. Let's set down a 1x6 flat tile for the fourth row. A 1x8. And a 1x4 to wrap up the fourth row. Let's start the fifth row with a 1x4. Set another 1x4, followed by another 1x4. Place a 1x6 on the right to finish up the fifth row. Start the sixth with a 1x1. Take two 1x4 wall elements. Place them right next to the 1x1 flat tile. These are going to be used to hide the wheel. Set down another 1x1 flat tile, followed by a 1x8 flat tile. You can do any design you wish. I choose a hardwood floor pattern. Looks nice. Finally, let's install the floor coverings for the bedroom. Start with a 1x1 one one plate. Place it right in this area. Next, set down a 1x6 flat tile. Perpendicular to the rows in the living area. 
set down six one by four flat tiles right next to the one by six finally place two one by six flat tiles in the remaining area. Let's set some propane takes on the front of the trailer. Start with two two by three plates. Place them on the right like so. Next Set down a 1x4 plate on the left hand side of the 2x3 plates. Take two 2x2 two two coupling plates. Place them in the 2x2 two two areas. Finally, a 2x4 plate to lock the coupling plates together. Next, take two short Technic pins, place them inside the coupling plates. These are going to be used to hold down the propane tanks. Take a 2x2 two two inverted dome and a 2x2 two two standard dome. Place the standard dome on top of the inverted dome and place them on top of the Technic pins. They are a bit loose but they look good as propane tanks. Let's begin the construction for the base of the walls with two 1 by 2 45 degree slopes place them in the 1 by 1 areas next take a 1 by 3 brick place it right next to the 1 by 2 inverted slope followed by a 1 by 1 angular brick Skip four studs, take a one by one brick, place it down like so. Next, a one by two Technic brick with one hole. Place it right next to the one by one brick, followed by another one by one brick. Place it on the right hand side of the one by two Technic brick. Now set down a 1x4 brick right next to the 1x1 one one brick. Let's make a reflector light. Take a 1x1 one one angler brick and a 1x1 one one transparent orange round flat tile. Place the flat tile on the angler brick and set the assembly down like so. To fill in this area, take a 2x2 two two 45 degree inverted slope. Let's take another 2x2 two two 45 degree inverted slope, place it in this area. Let's lock everything together with a 1x6 flat tile. Place it on the left hand side. Let's make another reflector light with an angler brick and a transparent one by one round flat tile. Set it down like so. Next, take a one by eight brick, place it right next to the reflector light. In this area, 
Let's set down a 1x3 brick, followed by a 1x1 one one brick, and a 1x2 brick. It just doesn't want to go in. Next, take a 1x1 one one round brick, place it on top of this stud. On the back, take two 1x8 plates, place them on top of one another, and set it inside this area. Take a 1x1 one one flat tile, place it on the right, followed by a 1x8 flat tile to lock everything together. Take two 1x2 one inverted 45 degree slopes, place them in the 1x1 one one openings. Next, let's set down a 1x8 flat tile in this area. Place a 1x1 one one flat tile on the left to finish this area off. Set down a 1x10 plate on top of these inverted slopes. We have a nice opening for a set of wheels. Now take a 1x2x2 two two corner brick, place it in this area. Let's set down a 1x2 brick in this opening. Next, take a 1x2 Technic brick with one hole, place it on the bottom, followed by a 1x4 brick. Take a 1x1 Angler brick and a stud, place the stud on the Angular brick. This is going to be for our electrical hookup. Place it in that area, followed by another angler brick and a stud. This is going to be for water. Let's set down a 1x2 brick in this area. Let's make two more reflector lights with an angular brick and a 1x1 transparent round flat tile. Place one on the bottom. And place one on the top. Let's finish the rear with two 1x4 bricks with four knobs. These are going to be used to attach the bumper. Let's add a roll of plates to the walls. Start with a 1x2 plate, place it in this area, next a 1x3 plate, a 1x4 plate, and a 1x6 plate for the rear. On the bottom, Let's start with a 1x4 plate. A 1x8 plate. A 1x2 plate in this area. And a 1x10 plate. This is going to lock in the base of the walls. On the right hand side, let's start with a 2x4 plate. Next, take a 1x8 flat tile, set it down in this area, followed by a 1x8 plate on the right, 
and a 1x10 plate on the bottom. Everything is leveled off for wall construction. Let's start the construction of the rear bumper with a 2x8 plate. Take a 2x6 plate, place it right on top and in the center of the 2x8 plate. Next, take a 1x4 flat tile, place it in the center and on the upper studs. Now take a 1x2 flat tile. I chose white for the license plate. Finally, take two 1x1 one one flat tiles and place them on both sides of the 1x2 white flat tile to fill in the areas. And to finish off the bumper, take two 1x2 bricks with bow. Place two on the right and two on the left. Let's set the assembly on the bricks with knobs. There we have a nice rear bumper. And this concludes the construction for the base of the travel trailer. Let's construct the bathroom for the travel trailer. Start with a 1x6x5 wall element. Place it in the back. Let's construct a brake light assembly on the left. Start with a 1x1 brick and a 1x1 angler brick. Place the angler brick on top of the 1x1 brick. Followed by two more angular bricks. Crown off the top with another one by one brick. Let's place three one by one transparent red round flat tiles on the angular bricks. These are going to serve as brake lights. Let's drop the assembly down on the left like so, where the brake lights are facing the rear. Let's construct the wall for the top left. Let's begin the construction with a 1x4 plate. Next, take a 1x2 plate, place it on the left hand side of the 1x4 plate. Let's place a 1x1 plate with tooth right next to the 1x2 plate. Followed by a 1x1 plate to fill in this area. Let's lock everything together with another 1x4 plate. Take a 1x1 angular brick, place it on the left. Let's set a 1x1 one one brick right next to the 1x1 one one angular brick. Now take a 1x1 one one brick with one knob, place it right above the leaf plate, take a 1x1 one one stud, place it on the brick with knob, followed by another one by one brick. The leaf plate is going to be a faucet and the stud is a knob. Next take a one by one angular brick, place it on the left right above the previous angular brick, followed by a one by three brick. 
Let's repeat that again with another angular brick and another 1 by 3 brick. Let's lock the assembly together with a 1 by 4 brick. To finish off the brake lights, three transparent round red flat tiles. Let's take a 1 by 2 by 3 wall element and a 1 by 2 by 2 brick. This one has a sticker of a mirror. Place the 1 by 2 by 2 brick on top of the 1 by 2 by 3 wall element. Take four 1 by 2 by 2 corner bricks, place them on top of one another. Take a 1 by 2 brick, place it on top of the assembly. Now let's place the three assemblies in this area, starting with the one with the brake lights. Set it right over the bathtub. Take the assembly with the mirror. Set it right next to the bathtub. Followed by the corner assembly. Some elements will not quite line up. We'll be adding plates to the top of this in a later portion. Let's start the construction of the bathroom sink with a 2x2 two two plate. Next, a 1x2 wall element that has three sides. Place it on one side of the 2x2 two two plate. Next, let's set two 1x2 two plates on top of one another. Set it inside this area. Take a 1x2 tap. Place it in the remaining void. Take a 1x2 palisade brick. Place it in this area. Let's set the sink assembly on the 1x2 plate. It should fit in nice. Finally, let's set a one by one round brick on this stud. Let's construct the toilet with a panner and a life buoy. Place the life buoy in the slot on the panner. Now, take a Technic pin that's short. Place the short end inside the slot. Now take a one by one brick with two knobs. Let's set a one by one flat tile on the right knob. On the left knob, Place a one by one plate. Followed by a one by one flat tile that's round. To finish off the top, take a one by two flat tile. Set it right in the center. Let's drop the whole top on top of the assembly. We have a nice toilet. Before we can attach the toilet, let's take a 1x6x5 wall element, place it on the left, set the toilet on the 2x2 two two jumper plate. Everything to center up.
Let's lock all the wall pieces together with some plates, starting with a 1x4 plate. Place it right in the middle over the mirror to line everything up. Now use a 1x2 plate with shaft. Place it on the left hand side. Let's make a shower head starting with a holder with stick and a 1x1 one one nose cone. Slip the nose cone on the holder and set it on the plate with shaft. Let's place a 1x6 plate on the left, followed by a 1x2x2 corner plate and a 1x4 plate to finish off this area. Everything is locked and secure. Nice, large, roomy bathroom with shower tub. Let's begin the construction for the exterior wall for the kitchen. Let's set down a one by one brick in this area on the far left. Next, take a one by two by two corner brick, place it in this corner. Take two one by one angular bricks, set them right next to the corner brick. Followed by a 1x2 radiator grill. Place it on the angular bricks. Let's set down a 1x10 brick right above the axles. Followed by a 1x1 plate. Place it on the far right. Next, Let's set down another one by one angular brick right above the other angular brick. Let's take a one by three phone receiver piece, place it on the angular bricks. This is going to be a handle to get up inside the travel trailer. Now, Take a 1x1 one one plate, set it right next to the angular brick. Take two 1x2 one plates, place them on top of one another, and set the assembly down right above the handle. Skip two studs, place a 1x3 brick. This opening is going to be for a window. Next, take a 1x8 brick, place it right in this area, followed by a 1x2 brick. Place it in the back. Now let's set down a 1x3 brick on the left to lock everything together. Place a 1x8 brick in that location, followed by two one by two bricks. Place them on both sides of the opening. Now take a one by two by two transparent wall element. This is dark transparent brown. Place it inside the opening for a window. Let's start the fourth row with a one by one brick. Place it in the far left. Set down a one by two by two corner brick. Take two one by one angular bricks. Place them right next to the corner brick. Followed by a one by two radiator grill. Let's place a 1x2 brick next to the radiator grill. 
take two more one by one angular bricks, set them right next to the one by two brick, followed by a one by two slope. This is going to be the exhaust vent for the stove. Let's set a one by four brick above the window, followed by a one by three to finish off the fourth row. Now the bathroom needs a door. Let's take a one by four by three door, set it on top of the round brick. To lock everything together, let's set a one by six brick right above the door. Take another one by six brick, place it above the radiator grills. Take two one by four bricks with four knobs, place them right above the exhaust. Take a one by one angular brick, place it on the far right, followed by a one by one slope. This is transparent yellow. This is going to be the porch light. And there is the wall construction. The travel trailer is going to need a door for entry. Let's take a 1x4x6 frame and a door that fits in a 1x4x6 frame. Set the door inside the frame. Next, take a stud and place it on the door for a doorknob. Let's crown off the top with a 1x4 plate. Set the door inside the area. Everything is flattened off nice. Let's begin the construction of the kitchen cabinets and appliances. Start with a 2x3 plate. Flip it upside down. Place a 1x3 brick along one side. Take a one by one brick, place it in the opening, followed by a one by two brick. This is going to be the base for the refrigerator. Now take two one by one bricks, place them on top of one another, set the assembly on the top right. Let's take a 1x3x2 door, place it on the right hand side. Take another 2x3 plate, place it on top of the door in the 1x1 assembly to lock everything together. Take another 1x1 brick, Place it on the right hand side, followed by a 1x3x1 door. Place it right next to the 1x1 brick. To lock the top door together, take another 2x3 plate. Now, take a 2x2 brick. Place it on the left, followed by a 1x2 brick on the right. There we have a refrigerator. We're going to need to finish off this side, so we're going to pre-make a column. Take a 1x2x5 brick and a 1x2 brick. Place the 1x2 brick on top of the 1x2x5 brick. This is going to be used to set along the side of the refrigerator door. Let's construct a small stove for the travel trailer. Start with a 2x3x2 cupboard and a door that fits inside the cupboard. 
place it in the cupboard where the handle is on the left. That is critical for the slide out to clear the handle. Now, place a 1x2 radiator grill right in the middle, followed by two 1x2 jumper plates. Place one on the right and one on the left. We have an area to attach some frying pans. Let's construct a counter with a 2x3x2 cupboard. Place a 1x2 flat tile on the right, followed by a 2x2 flat tile on the left. Let's place some drawers inside the cupboard. We have a nice counter with a countertop. Let's construct the kitchen sink. Start with a 1x4 brick and a 1x2 palisade brick. Set the palisade brick right next to the 1x4 brick. Let's lock the two bricks together with a 2x2 plate. Place a 1x2 plate on the left hand side. Let's lock everything together with a 1x4 plate. Take a 1x2x2x2 corner plate and a 2x2 plate. Place the 2x2 plate on the 2x2 side of the angle plate. To smooth it off, take a 2x2 flat tile. Place it on top of the 2x2 plate. Set it on the left hand side. This gives an appearance of a fake cupboard. Let's add a 2x2 flat tile for the countertop. Let's attach a faucet. Take a 1x2 plate and a 1x2 tap. Place the tap on top of the plate. Set the assembly in the 1x2 opening. Finally, take two 1x1 wall elements. Place one on the left and one on the right. This is going to give us a sink basin. Let's construct the upper cabinets and range hood starting with a 2x10 plate. Take three 2x2 two two flat tiles. Place one on the left. Nice. One right next to the one on the left. And the third 2x2 two two tile. Set a 1x2 tile on the right. Let's construct the range hood. Take a 3x3 three three slope. It is 30 degrees. Take a 1x3 plate. Place it on this end of the slope. Let's set the slope down inside the 2x3 area. Take three 1x1 one one round tiles. Place them on the remaining studs for knobs. We have a nice set of upper cabinets with a range hood. Let's install the appliances and cabinets. Let's place the refrigerator on the far right. Let's take the 1x2x6 column we assembled. 
Place it alongside the refrigerator. The small range. Our countertop. And the sink. Let's place this on the left. Attaching the upper cabinets is simple. Attach them to the bricks with knobs. Now we have a nice kitchen for the travel trailer. Let's crown off this section with plates, starting with a 1x2x2 corner plate. Place it on the right to lock this intersection together. Next, take a 1x3 plate, place it below the corner plate, followed by a 1x2 plate. Now take a 2x4 plate, place it right above the refrigerator. Let's set a 1x4 plate in this area. Place a 2x3 plate right above the range hood. A 2x6 plate above the upper cabinets and a 1x2x2 corner plate to lock in the light and the door. Everything is leveled off. Nice kitchen. Everything is locked in secure. Let's construct the walls for the bedroom. Start with a 1x3 brick. Place it on the left, right by the door. Set a 1x6 brick right next to the 1x3. A 1x2x2 corner brick. And a 1x6 brick to finish up the first row. Take three 1x4 bricks. Place them on top of one another, followed by a one by one brick. Set it on the left hand side. Place this assembly right by the door. Now use a one by four by three transparent brown wall element. Set it right by the assembly for a large window for the bedroom. Let's set a 1x2 brick right next to the window, followed by a 1x8 brick. Next, let's set a 1x1 right here. Set down a 1x2x2 corner brick to lock in the corner. Finally, a 1x6 brick to finish up this side. Now, take a 1x3 brick, place it right by the window. Another 1x3 brick, perpendicular to the previous 1x3 brick. Now set a 1x4 brick in this area. Let's skip one stud, set down a 1x8 brick to lock in the window. Finally, a 1x8 brick to complete the wall construction on the right. Let's construct a small partition for the bedroom and the living area. Start with a 1x2 brick. Place it on the top left of the 2x4 plate. 
Now take a palisade brick, set it right in front of the 1x2 brick. Let's place a 1x2 flat tile on top of the palisade brick. Now use a 1x1 brick, place it right next to the palisade brick, followed by a 1x2x2 by two by two brick to fill in this corner. Next, let's set down a 1x3 brick in the top left, a 1x1 one one brick on the right, followed by a 1x2 brick in the front. Let's construct a television for the trailer. Start with two 1x2 plates, place them on top of one another. Next, use a 1x2x2x2 corner plate. Let's set it on top of the 1x2 plates. Now use a 2x2 two two flat tile that has a monitor print work. Set it on the 2x2 two two portion of the corner plate. Set it in this area. Now we have a built-in television. Now set another 1x1 one one brick on the right, followed by a 1x2x2 one two two corner brick. Let's crown off the top of the television with some cabinet work. Take a 1x3 plate and a palisade brick. Place the 1x2 palisade brick on the right hand side of the 1x3 plate, followed by a 1x1 one one brick. Set this assembly right above the television. Place a 1x3 brick right behind the cabinet work. Followed by a 1x2 brick to fill in this area. To finish off the cabinet work, take two 1x3 plates, place them on top of one another, and set it on top of the cabinet work. Now set a 1x1 brick on the bottom. Let's add a door to the bedroom. Take a 1x3x4 door, set on top of the round 1x1 one one brick. To lock everything together, a 1x8 brick. There we have a nice bedroom door for the bedroom. It does open and close. Let's fortify these walls with plates, starting with a 1x10 plate. Place it right above the door and the window. Set a 1x4 plate on the far left. Let's place this 1x6 plate right here. Take a 1x3 plate. Place it right above the door for the bedroom. Finally, a 2x3 plate to crown off this area right above the entertainment cabinet. There's the wall construction for the bedroom. Let's begin the construction of the bedroom slide out with a 2x4 brick and a 1x2 plate. Place the 1x2 plate on the lower portion of the 2x4 brick. Let's set two 1x1 one one flat tiles on top of the 1x2 plate. Let's take four bricks with bow. These are 1x1 
place two on each side. Let's make another section starting with a 1x4 brick, two more 1x1 one one bricks with bow. Place them on both sides. Place both assemblies together and lock them in place with two 1x4 flat tiles. Now take a 2x4 plate and six 1x1 one one flat tiles, place them in the bottom portion of the 2x4 plate. You can create any pattern you wish. I chose a checker quilt pattern. It's a bit difficult to get all the tiles to line up. It gives it that rugged look. Now let's construct some pillows. Take another 2x4 plate and two 2x2 two by, two by 2 thirds consoles. I believe that's what they're called. Place them on top of the 2x4 plate and set the assembly in that area. Now you can drop the whole center part of the bed in this 2x2 two two area. And there is the bed portion. Let's take two 2x3 two plates and four 1x1 one one flat tiles we're going to place two flat tiles in the center of each 2x3 plate. And finally, take a 2x8 plate and two more 1x1 one one flat tiles. Let's go in one set from the left and place on the lower portion and one set from the right. Let's place the 2x3 plates on the back side of the bed. And this portion. There we have a nice, comfortable bed for the slide out. Now let's construct the walls for the bedroom slide out. Start with a 1x6 brick and two 1x4 bricks. Place them on both sides. Next, take two one by two by two bricks. Place one on the left and one on the right to lock in the bricks together. Rotate it around. Take two one by one bricks. Place them on top of one another and set this column on the left hand side. Let's make another column with two more one by one bricks. Set them on top of one another and place this column on the right hand side. Let's drop some windows in the openings. Take four one by two by two transparent brown wall elements. Place them in the remaining openings. Let's
Let's begin to lock everything in with a 1x6 brick. Place it right above the double windows. Take two 1x2 bricks, place one on the left and one on the right. Rotate the unit around and set in two 1x3 bricks. One on the left and one on the right. Let's fill in the top of the slide out with some 1x8 flat tiles. We'll place this one in the back. It'll help lock all the bricks together. Place another 1x8 next to the previous. We'll continue until we reach the fourth 1x8 flat tile. Let's fill in these two areas with two 1x1 slopes. Be sure that the larger side of the slope is facing the flat tiles. And there we have the wall construction. Let's attach the wall construction to the bed. This is where things get a bit tricky. Lay the wall construction flat. We'll set the bed construction and we will press down along the edges. And there we have the completed slide out for the bedroom. Setting the slide out inside the bedroom is easy. We'll just drop it down inside the opening. Now to keep the slide out secure, take a 1x8 and a 1x10 plate. Place the 1x10 on top of the 1x8. Well, we have a one stud overhang. Set the assembly right above the slide out. This will keep everything secure. Slide out does go in and out. It does fold up nice. Let's construct the slide out for the main living area, starting with a 4x10 plate and a 4x8 plate. Place both plates end to end. Let's set down a 1x12 brick on the top right hand side to lock both plates together. Skip two studs and set down a 1x4 brick. Take two 1 by 2 bricks, place one on the left and one on the right. To fill in these two areas, take two 1 by 2 45 degree slopes. Place one on the left and one on the right. Take four 1 by 3 flat tiles, skip a row of studs, and place them on the left. These are going to be the seat cushions. Same thing on the right. Take two more 1x3 flat tiles and set them down. On the right hand side, let's skip a row of studs and set down a 1x6 plate. Now take three 2x2 two two flat tiles, place them right in front of the 1x6 plate. These are going to be the cushions for the sofa. Let's construct a dining room table, starting with a 2x3 plate and a 1x2 flat tile. Place the flat tile on the top row of studs. Now set down a 2x2 two two flat tile in the remaining area. Let's finish it off with a 2x3 
inverted slope that is 30 degrees and set it in the 1 by 2 opening. Let's make the back of the seats for the dining booth. Let's start with two 1 by 3 plates. Take two 1 by 1 plates, place them on the left hand side of the 1 by 3 plates. Let's set down two 1 by 2 bricks on the right hand side. Next, take two 1 by 1 brick with bow. Place it on the left hand side. To fill in the one by one area, take two one by one plates. Let's finish off the top with two one by two flat tiles. Let's set one of the backs on the left and one on the right. Let's begin the construction for the sofa. Start with a 1x6 plate. Place it on the previous 1x6 plate. Let's set down two 1x2 bricks. One on the left and one on the right. Followed by two 1x1 bricks. Place them right in front of the 1x2 bricks. Now let's set down two one by one plates right on top of the one by one bricks. Take two one by two bricks with bow. Place one on the left and one on the right. These are going to be the arms for the sofa. Let's start the back with three 1x2 palisade bricks. Place them in the 1x6 area. Let's set down a 1x4 plate to lock in the palisade bricks. Take two 1x1 bricks with bow. Place one on the left and one on the right. Falling to crown off the top of the sofa, take two 1x3 flat tiles. Set them in the 1x6 opening. We have a nice dining booth and a sofa. Let's continue the wall construction with two 1x2x2 corner bricks. Place one on the left and one on the right. Now let's set down two one by two bricks. One on the left and one on the right. Let's take a one by six plate, place it right by the dining booth. On the left, let's fill in this area with a one by eight brick. Now take three 1 by 2 by 2 bricks, place one on the left, skip six studs, set the next 1 by 2 by 2, and place the last 1 by 2 by 2 on the right. Take two 1 by 1 bricks, set them on top of one another. Place this column on the left. Take two more one by one bricks. Repeat the same process. This time, set this column on the right.
take three one by two by three wall elements that are transparent brown, place them in this area. For the remaining areas, Take five one by two by two transparent brown wall elements. These will make nifty windows for the slide out. Let's lock in the top row with plates, starting with a 1x4 plate. Place it on the left, set down a 1x6 plate right above the windows, followed by a 1x3 plate. On the right hand side, let's place a 1x2x2 corner plate, followed by a 1x2 plate to fill in this area. Let's take two 1x8 plates, place one on the left, and one on the right. Let's set down a 2x4 plate on the left. Take another 2x4 plate, let's flip it over and place a 1x1 one one nose cone right here. This is going to make a light for the couch. Now take another 2x4 plate and another nose cone, place this one on the top right and set it down like so. Now we have two lights for the sofa. Next, take eight one by eight flat tiles. Let's start filling in the top. Let's start with two and place them in the back. We'll set three of the one by eights over the dining booth. And place the remaining three on the right over the sofa. To fill in both sides, take two one by four flat tiles. Set one on the left and one on the right. Now let's place two 1 by 2 slopes in the remaining 1 by 2 areas. These are going to be the stops to prevent the slide out from falling out. On the bottom, let's place two 1 by 1 bricks underneath the 1 by 2 45 degree slopes. There we have our stops installed for the slide out. Setting the slide out inside the living area is simple. Set it inside the opening. Nice seamless construction. Does go in and out smooth. Let's finish the wall construction for the travel trailer, starting with a 1x10 plate and a 1x16 brick. Place the 1x10 on the bottom of the 1x16. Take another 1x10 plate, place it on the other side. Let's set this assembly right above the living area slide out. This will lock the slide out in place. Now place a one by one brick 
on the left hand side of the 1x16 brick. Lock in the corner with a 1x2x2 corner brick. A 1x6 brick for the top left. Set down a 1x3 brick for the back. Next, take a 1x2 brick with stick, place it in the back. Now, drop down a 1x1 one one brick. On the bottom left, let's set down a 1x6 brick. Now, let's take a 1x2 brick with a Technic pin, set it right next to the 1x6 brick. In this area, Let's set down a 1x2x2 corner brick. Place another 1x2x2 corner brick right next to the previous one. Let's fill in this area with a 1x2 brick. To fill in this area, let's set down a 1x3 brick. Now take a large 2x10 brick, place it right above the area where the upper cabinets are. Let's sit down a 1x3 brick here. Place a 1x8 brick right above the door. Let's take another 1x2 brick with Technic pin. Place it right here. Let's set down a 1x2 brick in this area. A 1x2x2 two two corner brick. A 1x2 brick. And a 1x2x2 two two corner brick to finish off the living area. Let's set down a 1x6 brick right above the bedroom window. A 1x2x2 two two corner brick for the bottom right. A 1x4 brick for the front. And a 1x2x2 two two corner brick for the top right. Let's finish this area with a 1x6 brick and a 1x2x2 two two corner brick. All that's left is flat tiles. Starting on the top left, let's take a 1x1 plate. This is going to help lock in the top that we're going to be building later. Let's set down a 1x6 flat tile. A 1x1 flat tile for the bottom left. Let's place down two 1x3 flat tiles for the top and bottom. Take two more 1x6 flat tiles, place one on the top and one on the bottom. Let's place a 1x6 flat tile right above the bathroom door. A 2x4 flat tile above the fridge. Let's set down a 1x6 flat tile and a 1x4 flat tile above the upper cabinets. Take two more 1x6 flat tiles. Let's grab two more 1x6 flat tiles. Grab four more 1x6 flat tiles. 
place two on the top and two on the bottom. Let's set a 1x3 flat tile right above the entertainment cabinet and a 1x6 flat tile above the bedroom door. Let's finish the right hand side with a 1x3 flat tile. A 1x6 flat tile. A 1x2 flat tile and a one by one plate for the bottom right. Top of the travel trailer is smoothed off to accommodate a removable top. Let's construct a fake awning for the travel trailer starting with a Technic pin connector and two Technic friction pins. Stick the friction pins inside the connector. Take another Technic pin connector, place one on the left and one on the right. Notice how I'm keeping the slots lined up. This part is going to face against the wall. Take two more friction pins, place them on both sides, take two more Technic pin connectors, let's repeat the process again, two more friction pins, And two more Technic pin connectors that like to roll all, all over the counter. Finally, take two more friction pins, place them on both ends. Finally, two Technic pin connectors. Place these on both ends. Now let's take two Technic pins with cross. Place them on both ends of the assembly. Now let's take two Technic connectors that are crossed Place one on the left and one on the right. Let's keep the slots on the back. Next, take two seven stud long shafts. Place these in the slots. Now, let's take two of these connectors that will accept a slot on one end and a Technic pin that is perpendicular. Place them on the bottom. Finally, two standard Technic pins. Place them in the two slots. Let's set the fake awning on the side of the trailer. Place the two Technic pins in the two Technic bricks, as well as locking the top portion together. A little adjustment is needed. Now the fake awning is secured to the side of the trailer. On the back of the trailer, let's attach a large gate to the brick with stick. This is going to be a ladder to get up to the roof.
Let's start the construction of the step for the travel trailer with a 2x6 plate. Now, take four 1x2 track pieces. Let's place two on the top portion and two in the middle portion of the 2x6 plate. Let's set that off to the side. Let's take a 2x4 plate and four radiator grills. Let's place two radiator grills on the top and two on the bottom. Let's set this assembly in the bottom portion of the 2x6 plate. Let's build a sliding mechanism for the step. Take two 1x4 bricks with track. Set the bricks with track where the slot is facing each other. Now let's set down two 1x2 plates on the top portions. Let's set down a 2x6 plate on the bottom portion where we have a one stud opening. Let's slide the step assembly inside. In this area, let's place down two 1x2 jumper plates. Finally, one 1x2 radiator grill. Now we have a nice slide out step get into the trailer. Now let's set the assembly right underneath the door. This has to be pressed down firm. Now we have a nice slide out step that does function. Let's build some stabilizers for the bottom of the travel trailer. Take a 1x2 rocker bearing and a 2x2 rocker plate. Place the plate inside the bearing. On the bottom, place a 1x2 plate. Let's build another one, slightly modified. Take another 1x2 rocker bearing and a 2x2 rocker plate. Place the two together. On the bottom, place two studs. Finally, a 1x2 plate. We will need to make four of these in total. I have the other three made in advance. Let's install the short stabilizer right underneath the hitch where the stabilizer folds inward. Take the two modified stabilizers. Let's place this one on the top left and one on the bottom left. stabilizers 
meant to fold inward. Let's do the rear. Let's take the stabilizer, put it in the top right, and find the last stabilizer in the bottom right. These are supposed to fold to the left. Let's construct the axles for the travel trailer with two 1x16 Technic bricks. Let's grab two standard Technic pins, skip five holes, and set the Technic pin in the sixth hole from the left. Skip three holes and set down two more standard Technic pins on the right. Let's take a stud wide tire and rim. Place the tire on the rim. It depends on your preference which way you want the rims to face. I like the decorative side on the outside. Place the tires on the Technic pins. Let's take the first tire assembly and place it on the bottom. You may have to press firm to get the axle to lock in place. Tires do spin free. Let's place the other axle on the top. Make sure everything is lined up. And press firm. We have two sturdy axles for the travel trailer. Finally, let's start the top of the travel trailer with a 2x8 plate. Place it off to the left. Now, let's take two 2x4 plates. Place them right next to the 2x8 plate as shown. Now, let's take two 1x8 plates. Place one on the top 2x4 plate while it is overlapped the 2x8 plate. Place the other 1x8 on the bottom. Take a 1x2 plate that is transparent red. Place it on the left. Followed by a 1x2 track piece. Place it right next to the 1x2 plate. Now let's take an 8x8 plate. Slip it right underneath the 1x8 plates. Lock everything down. Now take two 1x4 plates. Put them in these areas. Let's take two 2x4 two plates with bow. Place one on the bottom and one on the top to lock everything together. Next, let's set down two more 1x4 plates. Let's proceed with two 2x4 plates. Set them right next to the 8x8 plate. Carry on with two 1x8 plates. Let's lock the 2x4 plates to the 1x8 plates. Next, another 8x8 plate. Set it underneath the 1x8 plates. 
Now, let's set down two 1x4 plates to fill in the areas. Let's take 10 2x4 plates with bow. Let's place five on the bottom to lock the assembly together. Set the remaining five plates with bow on the top. This will lock in these pesky one by four plates. Let's set another eight by eight plate next to the previous eight by eight plate. Now, Let's take two 1 by 10 plates, place one on the top and one on the bottom. Followed by two 1 by 6 plates. Let's set a 1 by 8 plate right underneath the two 1 by 6 plates. Followed by a 2 by 8 plate. On the end, let's set down a 1 by 6 plate. Let's fill in the remaining areas with 6 2 by 4 plates with bow. This will finish up the contour for the roof. Finally, take two one by two plates with bow, place one on the top and one on the bottom. Let's take another one by two plate with track, place it right here next to this opening. Now take a 2x3 plate with two holders. This is transparent light blue and two 1x2 plates with stick. Place the holders on the sticks. Let's set it on the right hand side of the hole. This is going to be a skylight to let light inside the travel trailer. Let's make another one with a 2x3 plate with two holders and two 1x2 plates with sticks. Set it on the other hole. Now let's finish the top off with some smooth tiles. Starting with a 2x4 flat tile. Place it on the left. Two one by four flat tiles. Here's another one by four flat tile. Three two by four flat tiles. Another one by four flat tile. Followed by three more 1x4 flat tiles to surround the skylight. Let's skip four studs and set down three 2x4 flat tiles. Let's place a 1x4 flat tile right next to the previous three 2x4s. Skip four studs and set down another 2x4 flat tile. Let's take two 1x1 round transparent orange flat tiles, 
place one on the top right and one on the bottom right and finished it off with a one by two flat tile let's build two air conditioners for the top of the travel trailer take a four by four by two thirds hood piece and a two by three plate place the plate inside the hood let's set down a one by four plate on the top and another one by four plate on the bottom to crown off these two studs a one by two radiator grill set the air condition with the gray portion facing the skylights already have another air conditioner made in advance it is the same as the previous set it down on the remaining hole there we have the removable top for the travel trailer placing the top on the travel trailer is simple just lock it on the two studs on top it does lock in nice everything is finished off nice nice and sturdy this will work with my Lego dually pickup truck this will be a perfect addition for any Lego city or a camping theme Hope everyone enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for watching.